Okay, so I just got this package from Chick Saddlery, and um, I'm going to be opening it and showing you guys what's inside. It just arrived today, and uh, I, I placed the order a while ago. Their shipping usually takes a while. Um, what I did order was I ordered a breast collar for my English saddle, my horse. And that one, I actually didn't order a leather one. I ordered one made out of material, so I'm interested to see how the quality of that is. Uh, oh, I can't quite see. There it goes. They always seem to pack it so well, though. Like, their shipping takes forever, but they pack really well. And they fit a lot into such a little box. That's why. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we have here. This is, upon opening, this is what I got. I ordered quite a few items, actually. They sent me this little catalog, I guess. It has, uh, oh, it has some nice head stalls in it and whatnot. I guess their newest uh, promotions. This is my order slip. As you can tell, I got quite a few things. But let's just dive into it. This is a saddle bag I ordered. Holy moly, it's way bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a little horn bag, but this is going to carry a lot of stuff. You could put like two lunches in here. I got this for six bucks, so for six bucks this was actually a really, really good buy. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to open it though. Oh, I guess it has these, these here. So you just slide them open like that. Oh, it's going to be pretty secure on a nice trail ride. I guess if your horse tries to do something funny, it won't fall out. But that's actually a pretty big saddle bag. Bigger than I thought it would be. I got a turquoise leopard. I got a bunch of these horse treats right here. They're supposed to be 9 ounces each. Um, these are like made out of oats and stuff like that. And my horse absolutely adores these. These are his absolute favorite. Nothing else will ever be loved like these are by him. And I can actually fit all of these in this saddle bag. Like, if I wanted to. And there's still a lot of room in there. There's still a lot of room. And that's one, two, three, four bags at nine ounces each. So that's, that fits quite a lot. These are some synthetic gloves that I bought. These are actually from my mom. I've had these before. They actually don't last that long, but she likes how small they are. They're a child size. We have small hands. And um, she likes how these fit. So I ordered her another pair of these. Um, I have this mud brush already, and what I can say about it is that it does clean really good. I like how stiff these bristles are. The only thing is this handle right here will, will break off. It's not the strongest thing in the world. It's very flimsy, and where they bolt it, the bolts are just absolutely stronger than the leather. It, it'll come off. Yeah, you can see that. It's, if I do that just a little bit, it's already coming off. So I probably would just cut that off um, before and just save myself the trouble. I got this new curry comb. It's pretty comfortable. It's made out of rubber. It's for, I, I got this because the one I have right now doesn't have the deep grooves. And I wanted deep grooves for when I give my horse a bath. Um, just so I could get more sudsy and I could really get in there and get all the deep dirt out. Um, pretty much his winter coat is gone. So I guess this will just be a nice little massage for him. Um, it won't really help take out any coat or it won't go too deep because the fur isn't that deep anymore. Um, but it's really nice. It's all rubber. I can feel that it's pretty sturdy. It's got a nice little handle right here. Um, and it's probably going to be really comfortable when I'm scrubbing him with this. Like the handle's not too small. It fits in my hand pretty good. And I have small hands. Um, so... I don't know if it's focusing or not. I have a scratch on my lens. I'm sorry. 
So that's pretty nice. I like this one a lot. I can tell this is going to stand up to the test of time. It's pretty durable. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, so I ordered these shampoos and they just complete, they, they tried, they tried to make it waterproof in here, but this just completely exploded in there. These shampoos are just completely exploded and they, they wet some other things. Um, not sure what they wet yet, so I guess we'll find out. You can see that it kind of just went everywhere in the bag. It, it's, it's a mess. Oh man, you probably, I probably lost a lot of product on that too. Um, I bought each one of these, they're 32 ounces, bought them for five bucks each, and they just completely exploded all over the place. Uh, that's wonderful. This is the breast collar I bought. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick actually. So I also brought some napkins so that I can wipe off whatever else is dirty in there. Um, this, is, this is a nylon breast collar that I bought for my western saddle. So we can open that up right now. It's got a little zippy. Just open that up. And I mean it's, it's definitely not the prettiest thing in the world. Um, Gosh, you know, I don't even think it's gonna gonna reach all the way around my. I have a thoroughbred, and I don't think this is gonna reach around him. Uh, I guess the way they want you to hook this onto your cinch is to just bring this through and make a loop because they have a hole right here. Uh, I won't do that. I'll put a clip on this because that that's just kind of weird. Yeah, that's what they want you to do. They want you to make the loop like that, so that that's how it folds. I don't know. This might stretch because it's braided, but generally, I don't like the design of it. I might just order a normal leather one, but this would probably definitely be something that would be great to have if you know you're in a pinch and you need something. Um, if you have the money, I definitely recommend you go and buy a real leather one. Oh, this is where they want you to connect it to the cinch, I'm guessing. And then these two are going to go up and around the horse. So it's not the best design, but for $7, it's going to do a job. It's probably going to do its job well. Um, it's just a little little bulky where they want you to, like, where they want you to, uh, it off and stuff it's gonna be bulky it's not gonna be the prettiest thing but it'll definitely work for what you want it to work for I bought these clips uh, I think they might have some soap on them no I bought these clips uh, I bought these because I wanted to have my reins on them they have really wide bottoms so it'll fit the leather of the reins perfectly and I can just clip them on and off my horse's bit. Um, the reason why I wanted these was because my horse had a horrible, horrible habit of breaking his reins. He's gone through like three or four sets already. And um, this is just going to make taking them on and off easier. What I used to do is tie them up to his saddle so that he could run around a little bit before. But he would hook them on to the uh, gates. And... He knew that if he put it on the gate and he pulled his head, he could break it, and I wouldn't be able to ride him. Uh, so these are going to be great. I can put them on his bit. I can take them off his bit. It'll be really fast, real simple. They're pretty wide, and they're pretty easy, so that'll be great. And then let's see what else do we have here. We have also got... Oh, yeah, these are some tack hooks I bought. They're not the prettiest thing, 
but I got five of them for four dollars and they look pretty sturdy actually they're just the simple J um, they have little holes in them right there so that you can secure them onto something they're pretty wide so you're probably gonna be able to fit like you know two three halters on there with some lead ropes or a few sets of bridles on each one uh, I got five of them they're from horse uh, there you go there's a horse brand I got five for four dollars uh, which was a pretty good deal because I've I've been struggling with um, and having sufficient places to put my tack you know most of the time it ends up on the floor because what I do have um, it just falls off it, it falls off and it's not very secure so I wanted to get these so that it'll definitely be secure you can pretty much put them anywhere you want um, because the little screw system they don't have screws you're gonna have to buy screws yourself and uh, let's see what else do we have here this what is oh yeah I remember what this is this is a neck strap uh, for those of you who don't know what a neck strap is it's basically just a strap that goes over the pole of the horse's head you can adjust it however you want um, I have problems with my horse accepting the bit so what I want to do with this neck strap is um, I want to put this on him before I start putting his bridle on that way I can still have control over him it has this d-ring here that you can attach your lead line to and um, I will be able to have more control over his head he has a tendency of walking off on me um, I'm very short I'm like 5'2 and he's a 15.2 hand high thoroughbred and he's also an ex racer, so he doesn't have the best manners because they they've always been you know tied up, and it was really it's really easy to um, tack up a horse when their head is immobile. My horse's head's not immobile. I don't tend to do that to him. Um, but what I do want to do with this is to be able to still give him the freedom to choose to bring his head down, and if he doesn't, I can guide him there. Um, this will also be something great, like if in an emergency, you know, you don't have a halter or something, your halter breaks, you can still lead a horse with just an neck strap. It's adjustable. Um, you can adjust it to whatever length you want, I guess. I'm assuming it's adjustable. You can, you can shorten it right there pretty much, but I don't know if that'll stay. And um, if they panic, it has a quick snap right here. It'll... Uh, it should hold the horse, but I guess if they panic too much, it'll break, which is a good little safety function because you don't want a horse to get his head all hung up and then, you know, pull so hard he falls over and kills himself. So that's a nice little neck strap that I'm looking forward to using. Uh, let's see what else have we got here. I got this hoof knife. It says super sharp hoof knife, and I'm assuming it is. It looks really nice, actually. Usually when I buy the tools from them, their tools are kind of like the stuff from the factory that's been sitting for a while, and it doesn't look pretty anymore. So that's why they get it and can sell it so cheap. I think I got this one for like three bucks. Um, that's a pretty good price, I think. And, um, let me see. Yeah. So this one actually looks really pretty still. It's nice and shiny. It won't be for long because, you know, you use anything on a horse's hoof, it's going to get dirty. I kind of like the way it looks, actually. It, it, I was expecting something of lesser quality. It's Tough One brand. Um, and I like it. I do like that one. This. <laughs> this is just funky. This is supposed to be one of those round sh de shedding combs. It looks more like a hacksaw right now. Um, oh, I think that one has some soap on it, actually. Let me clean that off. Okay, so I guess they want you to just, you know, put that through the loop right here. If you don't cut your hand off trying. It looks like a hacksaw right now. <laughs> And, oh, yeah, there you go. For shipping purposes, I guess they make it so that it'll go flat. And then it'll turn into this nice little loop right here. It has a clip. So if you buy this one, make sure that you get it, the bar all the way into the clip. Which I'm having trouble doing. It's kind of difficult. It's really tight. 
Okay, there we go. It's in the clip now. So that'll make it nice and secure, and you probably will never have to, you know, take it off its clip, but I'm pretty sure you can. Um, this will be, you know, to de-shed the horses, which came kind of late, because my horse is already, you know, all de-shedded, and he looks really nice now. Um, I got a salt block holder. Got this for $1.99. It's smaller than I thought it was, but, you know, I'm sure I can just, like, bend it open and, you know, kind of just do what I want to it. Uh, it's so cheap, I don't mind bending it. Um, you can put this on, like, wood. You can screw into your pipe corral and put that on there. It's a good price. I've seen these sell for, like, 15 bucks, and I wouldn't pay 15 bucks for this. $1.99 is just my price. And lastly, we've got a little farrier tool here, which they wrapped up pretty nicely. They wrapped it up in this cardboard, which got the soap on it. And uh, this is my hoof rasp. I bought this because I've noticed that, um, I don't know about you guys, but where I am in SoCal, uh, Southern California, it's, it's difficult to get a farrier out um, on call. Most of the times, the farriers here are like on schedules and appointments. So if your horse has like a, a crack in his hoof or something, um, you're not you're not getting that fixed until they're they're ready for you to get it fixed um, until your next appointment. So I bought this just so I could take out you know any small cracks, you know prevent them from getting bigger. Um, they also have something they have a technique for the hoof called the Mustang roll. And the, basically the Mustang roll is where you round out the hoof's edges so the hoof will be stronger and it'll have less weak points when you're riding. Um, that's definitely something I want to do for my horse because my horse is an ex-race horse and they tend to have bad feet. Um, he's got really good feet. He's, he's barefoot, but this is something that I do want to be able to do for him. Um, especially, too, like if the farrier gets sick and you can't find a replacement, you know, you don't want your hoof, your horse's hoofs to suffer because of that. And I, I bought a little handle to go with it, which I'm disappointed to say that this handle does not go with this. I mean, I'm sure I can shove it in there, but it just, it doesn't go. Um, like I said, usually they're, they're like working equipment, um, is of lesser quality, but this one's actually really good. I'm happy that I got this one. Uh, it looks like it's, it's still in really good shape. Of course, it's brand new, but it doesn't look like it's been sitting in a factory for too long. So you like, you could just shove it in there and I'm sure you can work with that, but it's just a little disappointing because, you know, you, th you think you're going to get a hoof rasp and then a handle and they're going to fit because this was advertised as the hoof rasp's handle. Um, obviously this one was not made for this hoof rasp. I don't know what it was made for, but it wasn't made for this. And this, yeah, it's a, it, it advertises right there as a wooden rasp handle from Tough One. It's a screw-on design. Um, this is not a screw-on design <laughs> rasp, I guess. Uh, it might have been my fault. But that's basically all the stuff I've gotten here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I didn't miss anything, so... Back to this. I am so stoked about how big this saddle bag is. Like, I could probably take my horse on a few picnics, but check this out. Screw the box. I'm just gonna put all of the stuff I just bought into this bag, which I got for like $6 online. And I'm gonna just throw all of this stuff in here. I'm gonna take all the tags off and stuff so that I don't have too much, um, too much junk when I arrive at my uh, horse. But I'll just take all the tags off and I'll throw everything in here. I haven't even filled the other pouch and almost everything is in here. And I'll just transport everything like this, which I'm really happy with the bag. The bag is something I'm really, really happy with. This is probably not gonna fit in there. Um, but I can definitely put this in there. You know, and it's it's really nice, actually. I like it. The It feels durable. The straps feel like they were sewed on pretty strong. Um, all in all, I paid about $100 for all this stuff, so I think I got a pretty good steal. Um, 
when it comes to price. Um, so that was mostly everything I bought that I'm taking. I'm not actually taking the horse shampoo. It leaked too much. I'm not transporting that in my car. I'm not putting it near my new tag. That's nice. Um, these gloves are for my mom, so I'm not taking that either. And, oh, I missed my little clips. So I'll throw those in there as well. And I'm, I'm actually really, really happy with this. And, you know, I was thinking that this, this design right here was going to be kind of difficult because I think everyone gets used to, like, the clasps and the hooks method. But this is actually, it's, it's not that hard. It was made with enough room for it to slide in easy, and it's going to stand the test of the ride. Um, here's the other bag. I didn't fill it up yet, but I'm just going to put the salt block in there because I don't want to overstuff the other one. I don't think it'll break or anything. It's just not convenient. Um, this is definitely, like I said, something, if you go on long trail rides with your horse, I would recommend the saddle bag. Uh, you can carry a lot of things. You can carry a first aid kit. You can carry your lunch. You can carry some lunch for your horse. You could probably even carry a small pop-up water bucket for your horse if you, you ride your horse really hard and you think you want to give him some water. That might be something you could put in here. Uh, definitely, you could you could probably carry like six or seven water bottles in just one of these bags. These bags are huge. And they just slip right on. And I'm guessing when you secure it onto your saddle, it's going to be these two clips right here. They're just going to like click onto the rings of your saddle, and that's going to go around your uh, your horn or your cantle or something like that. I don't know. But overall, I'm really impressed. Uh, I fit most of that order into this one bag, except for the gloves and salt block and the uh, shampoo. But I mean, look at that. That's pretty amazing. This this saddle bag, I think, was just the highlight of this whole order. Um, if you do buy shampoo and stuff from Chick Saddlery, I I would recommend siding on the air of caution. I've ordered like. Uh, detangler spray from them before and the bottle became broken. I ordered these shampoos knowing that they had that kind of history. So if you do order from Chick Saddle, really, like any of the shampoos, any of the conditioners, anything liquid, um, don't order it with something that you would be really upset if it got damaged because these shampoo bottles, it, I mean, look at I had metal in there. It's probably my fault. But they could have probably padded it a little more. They don't emphasize on padding too much. Unless you buy like a saddle or something, then they will. Um, but just, just be careful with that. And um, overall, like their bags and stuff, their saddle bags are pretty nice. I've ordered my head stalls from them. I love my head stalls. Uh, all my reins I've ordered from them. You can get reins from them for like 12 bucks. And they're leather reins and they're nice. They're really nice, and you can choose colors, you can choose all sorts of um, different things. Like my uh, curry comb that I got that I showed you guys, I think it's going to be really, really comfortable for my horse and for me. That was only like, let me see, $4.99. You know, usually those things are like 10 bucks, I think. Um, this saddlebag exactly was $6.99, which is really great. I love it. The main and tail shampoo was $5.99. I did lose a lot of the product, but considering how much it actually runs for in the stores for a 32 ounce bottle, I think we still kind of made out on that. Um, the breast collar was $7.79. Again, um, it's, it's nice to have that, that breast collar in specific will be nice to have as like an emergency, um, you know, maybe you could put it in your saddlebag, like this one, when you're riding. And if your leather one breaks or something happens to it, you got an extra. Um, you know, I just, I got really good deals on all of this stuff. The horse treats that come in the 9-ounce bags, my horse absolutely adores those. They're called horse nipples, horse treats, and those came for two eighty nine a bag, which is a really good price, I think. Um, especially if, you know, your horse loves it. Um... Yeah, all in all, it was it was a really good haul. Um, if anyone's interested in the trigger snaps for your your reins, uh, those ones were also like a dollar twenty nine. So I like it.
this is these are just huge I can't wait to use them and um, I guess that's it thanks for watching